Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, we will talk about another immunosuppressor drug, mycophenolate, mofetil, and it has a brand name called CellSat. Mycophenolate mofetil is an immunosuppressant and it's commonly used to prevent rejection of organ transplants. It works by weakening the body's immune system so it will not attack and reject the transplanted organ. Specifically, it is used following kidney, heart, and liver transplantation. It can be given by mouth or by injection into a vein. And it is increasingly utilized as a steroid sparing treatment in autoimmune diseases and similar immune-mediated disorders, including pemphigus vulgaris and psoriasis and etc., Mycophenolate does not work immediately. It can take up to 8 to 12 weeks before you have any benefit. It is important to continue treatment during this time. Let's talk about mode of action. It is inhibiting inosine monophosphate dehydrogenase, which is needed for purine synthesis. And as T and B cells are particularly dependent on this pathway, it can reduce the proliferation of immune cells. T and B cells are important for our immune system and they need purine synthesis. And this drug is inhibiting purine synthesis, thus it can suppress the immune system. Let's talk about side effects. Like the all other drugs, this drug has side effects such as constipation, nausea, headache, diarrhea, vomiting, stomach upset, gas, tremor, dizziness, drowsiness, or trouble sleeping. Those can occur. And we can have serious side effects such as increased risk of cancer, progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, anemia, or gastrointestinal bleeding. And this drug is not for pregnancy. In healthy non-pregnant adults, it takes an average of one week for most of the mycophenolate to be gone from your body. If you are planning pregnancy, talk to your healthcare provider about when you should stop this medication and your treatment options. Let's talk about blood tests. Among the most common effects of this drug is increased blood cholesterol levels. Other changes in blood chemistry, such as hypomagnesemia, hypocalcemia, hyperkalemia, and an increase in blood urea nitrogen can occur. In deciding to use medicine, the risk of taking the medicine must be weighed against the good it will do. This is a decision you and your doctor will make. Please do not use any drug without talking with your healthcare provider. And that's the end of the video. If you find it helpful, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends. Take care.